morning Kenny here with gardening simplified today I'm going to do a little bit of a discussion on cross-pollinating and uh, some of the effects a lot of youtubers will tell you whenever you have plants cross-pollinate that it affects your seed it doesn't really affect the plant but uh, that's not entirely true you, you do have a certain ones that you might not see an effect but I'm going to give you an example here in the garden. Now, what I have here, this is actually supposed to be a butternut squash. And most of you know a butternut squash should look something like this. The shape is right with that one. But as you notice, the color is off. And we'll go over here and we'll look at the squash that's next to it. And of course, we got buttercup squash. And the buttercup squash is the bees have actually cross pollinated it. And so, what you end up with is a mixture. The same thing right here. You can see this is a pumpkin actually that's that's come up here a uh, sugar pie and normally it would be a darker green but it's a lighter color so you can see the effects of when you plant your crops close certain crops and normally I'd leave some distance between them but I've been filling these beds as I go and I've I've noticed uh, certain things about some of these uh, winter squash. It's just like this here is another butternut squash. But as you can see, it's been cross-pollinated. The, the whole batch in here is like this. Now, the, these are all be edible fruit, but they're, they're definitely the possibility that they're not going to taste like uh, your normal winter squash. The, the flavor is probably going to be altered or whatever. And it might come out with a, a good flavored one to, you know, to try the seed and see how, so I, see how it comes out and maybe uh, have a different type of uh, squash, you know, one tastes like uh, maybe more pumpkin flavor or or whatever but that's a lot of your hybrids that's the way that it's done is they intentionally uh, crossbreed them but know that if you're going to uh, take and, and do this and and you're not even when you have a small garden space which mine's a little larger but I don't have that problem when I put a few crop rows in between uh, you know, like plant beans and plant squash on different sides of them and stuff. But anytime you plant them together, that's a common thing that you are going to get cross pollination in your your uh, crop that comes off it is definitely not going to be true to the seed that you planted. Uh, not only is your seed not going to be true, but your your actual fruit that comes onto the plant is going to be different. So I hope this helps you and maybe it'll give you a little idea on when you set up your uh, garden spot, you know, set, setting up crops to where you don't have that problem. You know, peppers, uh, I planted in the past where I planted hot peppers next to uh, bell peppers right next to them and I've had a few hot bell peppers and they say that doesn't happen but... Uh, by experience it does happen and as you can see uh, by the the squash here that it's definitely a possibility so plant out your garden to where you don't have that problem and we might as well visit the uh, sunflower uh, our pollinators are busy on it they they like sunflowers and it's finally uh, open wide and uh, a lot of the side blooms are getting ready to open. Uh, 
I hope you enjoyed this and happy gardening.